What happened? I was distracted. Best friends in the world, senior year is full of twists. Anything can happen. I mean, anything can happen in this series, ranging from Adam and Eve kissing, Esther and Archie dating, Olive and Angel hugging. Huh. Anything can happen in this series. They call it best friends in the world. But with the way things are going right now, it just might have to be called ex friends in the world. <laughs> Hey guys, Brenton here. If it's your first time on this channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. What we do on this channel is we laugh and learn. So hit that subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Thank you. Today's episode, I'm going to be characterizing your favorite actors and actresses. It's about to go down. You brought your phone to school and you had to reach you. Put it away before you get in trouble. Esther, let's talk about this. Let's talk. So Esther is that one friend that looks out for all her other friends. She's so, so selfless. She's busy taking care and worrying about her friends that she does not have time for herself, which perfectly explains her unironed clothes and messy hair. No, I'm just kidding. Guys. You see, friends like Esther, they're actually heroes. They're needed in life because who do we then run to with issues of life if we don't have a friend like Esther? What I don't understand is why is Esther angry at Archie? I don't know why. Is it because Archie's sister called her fatty? <laughs> but she's fat now. <laughs> Others may say Esther is angry at Archie because Archie's sisters don't like her. Uh -uh. Is it everyone in life that will like you? Ah. And what did she expect Archie to say? Hey babe, I just wanted to let you know that my sisters don't like you. And when you're not around, they call you fatty. Yeah! 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 I was there. I can tell you girls whatever you want. What else happened? I mean, it's not as great as the media's making it. I guess Olive was so touched by Angel's performance that she started bawling like a baby. Angel stepped off stage and hugged her. He even kissed her. It was cute. I'm glad she got the attention she wanted. What was that? Did you say anything different from the video? Human beings survive on food. Vampires on blood. But Evelyn on attention. Evelyn wants to be the center of attention at school as much as she wants to be the center of attention in Adam's life. If I didn't know better, I would say she's forcing herself on everyone. But when I witnessed the kiss, ah, there was no sign of struggle. And if you have noticed something, that most of the times when everyone is against Evelyn, there's one person that always stands up for her, Adam. So what am I saying? I'm saying in Adam's eyes, Evelyn is as irresistible as gravity. But in reality, she is an insecure man, plotting brats. Adam is a nice guy, no doubt. But the problem with being a nice guy is nice guys are like doormats. Everyone can step all over them. Why? Because they're easy to manipulate. Evelyn has been manipulating Adam from the very first day. But I don't know why Adam can't see it with eyes as big as his. Oh, <laughs> Esther, what's going on? This isn't you guys. That's what we're saying too. This isn't you. Evelyn has been a total biatch and you have been blind. Then that makes me want to ask, is Adam nice or dumb? We should be at least offering her support. Support for what? Eh? Support for what? The one you've been giving to her is not enough. Esther. No, for real. Clean the muck from your eyes and take a good look. We don't click, but you don't care. Instead of forcing her down our throats because of some childhood obsession you two have with each other. Esther. Evelyn has been a real turd, but lover boy doesn't care if she's good enough to be friends with us. Good enough? Why are you being so mean? Why are you being so dumb? Romeo. I, I don't know why they call him Romeo, because not even for once have I seen him with Julia. And the funny thing is, all the girls at school go crazy over him. They say he's handsome. 
I think it's the hair. It's just too bushy. <laughs> Your brother is so cool. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I would say he suffers from hypoglycemia. Aww. But um, only for me to find out from his ex-girlfriend that he has a salty tongue. Hey, so he uses those lollipops that he eats every series to neutralize the taste. Oh Guys, you didn't hear this from me, so let's keep his little secret. The only sad thing about Romeo is that he always has a lot to say, but has to stay quiet to maintain his cute boy vibe. You get it? Oh, you don't get it. He has a missing tooth. <laughs> Iris Azuka. She's kind and fragile. Deep down. Except it's deep, 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 deep down. You understand? Like deep, deep down. Far of you. Senior. Follow me. Not you, Olive. Yeah, oh, right. I knew that. Why she feels scary? What I'm still failing to understand is why does she put up this scary, unapproachable character? You know what they say? They say when someone puts up this character that they are not, it's because they are trying to protect themselves. But in this scenario, who is she protecting herself from? While she's the scary one. <laughs> It's very clear that she likes Romeo, but she pretends otherwise. Which makes me want to ask, why is it hard for women to just confess how they feel for men or for guys? A word of advice. A woman that hangs around a handsome man without saying a word ends up fetching water for the guests at his wedding. <laughs> 